So, Asana has been fairly busy. More recently, they've released something called Flow and a brand new homepage experience. In today's video, we're going to dive into just that and what makes this new feature different to some of what the other project managers are doing at the moment. Before we begin, you may notice my voice is a little bit hoarse, so I do apologize for that before we begin this start of this video. I just also want to mention that we're close to the Bento beta release, where you can check that out in the link in the description. Make sure you join the waitlist so that you can get onto the next cohort of our beta. So, Asana has been fairly busy. Actually, I want to start with an update that they actually released inside of their existing platform. For example, when you're sending a comment, they actually released a new Vimeo integration that allows you to record videos and your screen inside of an Asana comment and be able to respond back with that. This is really an effective approach. Uh, I love when an application adds this ability, mainly because you're actually to, able to send something asynchronously and that might actually ditch a meeting completely. So this is a great new addition and they've added but it's weirdly strange that they've gone with Vimeo because you wouldn't think that these two would pair up to make an application like this. However, this is something we've seen inside of Slack Pro with a feature like record video, audio and screen. So a lot of these applications are trying to build these internally. Now, next up is the flow feature. And this is actually something that we'd expect to see from Asana. They've been working on their workflows and integrations for many years, but they're really trying to be a bit more intelligent with their approach. And as you can imagine, work together with those integrations to build a better experience. So essentially inside of the projects you're working on, there will now be a tab for workflow in which you can create a customized workflow using the integrations you've already got or integrations that you might need to systematize a process that you may already have. For example, it could be onboarding a new employee or maybe working with somebody on a regular basis and being able to make sure a series of actions happened essentially when you do something, which is really what we're trying to aim for with our project managers. We want them to take the bulk of the workflow activity out of the way. And it's what a lot of the other project managers like ClickUp Monday, even the likes of Catalog are doing at the moment to try and systematize uh, processes that you do on a routine basis. So Asana have released this Asana workflow. And actually, if you're looking to use this, there's a really good YouTube guide that I'll recommend in the link in the description. But it takes you through, I guess, how to actually build a workflow and how you could re replicate it for your team with a good example bit of practice. So it's really interesting to see Asana take this approach. Obviously, they do tend to release quite a lot of updates month to month. In terms of fixing small elements of it, things like filters, rules, forms, etc., month to month improving it. But this was quite a big release for them in terms of having that functionality inside of the product. Now, to finalize this, Asana actually more quietly introduced something called Home. And for those who know and let's see what Evernote have done with their home, it's almost a modular way for you to see things like your notes, things like your tasks, and things like your projects. And Asana have copied that in a way that many others have already. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now you start with it showcasing the date and it also showcasing, for example, good afternoon, Francesco. And it gives you a bit of a breakdown of, for example, how many tasks you completed and how many collaborators you're working with. Now you can actually change it to, for example, my week or my month. So you can get an overview of what the next month looks like, but this is a great way to filter it down. And to be honest, immediately, I quite like the clean approach that they offer. Now, before I jump into the customization elements, there's sort of a bit of an overview of what sort of widgets you have. So on this left-hand side, you can move them around. You can have my priorities, which is really nice because they drill down through all of the projects you have and actually say, right, what are you assigned what is overdue for you? What is overdue for completed? You also have your own private notebook as well, or notepad they're calling it. Much like inside of Evernote Homes Edition, this allows you to take just notes and maybe even link to important resources inside of your area, which is almost stuck to your homepage, like a post-it note that you may already have on your dashboard on your home screen. 
Now down below here, you also have people, which is perfect for seeing frequent collaborators, recent and favorite ones. So for example, if you want to keep updated on what each person is working on, that's quite helpful. And down here, you can also find your projects. Now at the moment, they haven't gone as far as say Evernote to do some of the filtering and things like that with their widgets. There's only four key widgets and actually the private notepad isn't something you can add straight away. You have to drag it in. But as you can imagine, they do plan to add more and actually says more widgets to coming soon. You can also change the color of your background to a range of them. I think there's about 12 of these here and they do call up quite nice as basic sort of palettes. And as you can imagine, it's just helpful to make your sort of homepage a row. Now, if you go over to my tasks, this is actually something they've built on a lot in the last year, but it's not as say prescriptive as my priorities. I really like this approach. And it's something that I think over the next couple of months that Asana will probably be building on. Now, just a few more detailed things. Asana actually introduced this half and full size thing, very much like Evernote. So for example, you can go full size for it to span the full width of the home, or you can go half size to get them more modular. You can also view all of your tasks by zooming in um, and actually finding them there. Now, what's really cool as well is you can remove them, but this actually reminds me a lot of what Catalog are doing with their sort of modular setup with a combination of Evernote widgets. I think this is something that is going to, we're going to see more commonly inside of project managers in the near future especially when it comes to personal productivity, being able to know what you're working on and having a privatized dashboard or home space is something I think people are moving more towards than for example, people fully committing to notion layouts of their own. I think a lot of people want that simplicity when they're working on other projects. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this overview of Asana Flow, Asana Home, and a few more things that they've released. Let me know in the comments below what you think and I formally apologize for my voice today, but I hope it wasn't too much of a hindrance in today's video. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.